In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to work a little bit quicker, a little more efficiently in your Metasoft reports. As you well know, there are so many different reports in your Metasoft program that sometimes it becomes challenging and almost overwhelming to find the report that you're looking for, especially if you're searching for a, a new report that you haven't ran yet, um, trying to get some new data or information out of your program. Uh, there's a lot of reports. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you specifically two things today. Number one, I'm gonna give you some tips on how you might be able to better search for and identify and find reports that you may want to be uh, running. Uh, and second of all, I'm gonna show you how to organize those reports into favorites so that you can quickly to easily find the reports that you run on a regular basis or that uh, you want to run on a regular basis. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna click on the reports menu in Metasoft. Now, something I wanna point out here at the beginning, under all of these sub menus, there are many different reports here uh, that you can run and it's okay to run them from, from here. However, I, I do wanna point out that all of the reports that Metasoft has to offer is under this Metasoft report section here. So everything you see, all of these reports you see are also contained here in this Metasoft reports uh, section. Now, mine does say Metasoft reports professional. Um, that's because I have the reports professional installed. You may not have the professional installed, so it may just say Metasoft reports. If so, that's perfectly fine. Everything that I'm gonna show you in this video will be um, relevant and will work the same way in your Metasoft reports. So let me go ahead and click Metasoft reports, and that's gonna open up the report explorer. Again, this section contains every report that Metasoft has to offer, even the ones you saw in the uh, reports uh, under the, the reports menu just a moment ago. As you, as you click on these different folders, it'll display all the reports in that section or in that folder. Now, this is where it gets kind of overwhelming and complicated, right? Is that there's so many different reports to choose from. Uh, it's hard to know which folder to click on to go and find the report that you're looking for. So if a way to, to get around this and do it better is to click on this find report uh, box up at the top and simply just type in a keyword. And I would recommend uh, typing in just a keyword. Don't make it a phrase. Don't make it an exact title of a report um, unless you know what that is. But if you're trying to find a report and you're not sure which one it is, then just type in a keyword, something like payment or collections or, or something to that effect. Now, for, for demonstration purposes in today's video, let's say that we've been tasked with trying to find a report that will tell us um, the number of um, um, business that we get from a referring provider to our business, okay? We wanna see how many, specifically how much money that's generating for our, our business. So to do that, I'm gonna click on this, this uh, I'm gonna go up to this find report box and I'm just gonna type in the word referring, okay? That way, that's my keyword. I'm gonna hit find now and the system will automatically find all reports in the system that have the, the keyword referring in the title. So we know that all, all of these reports here that are displayed for us are the referring provider reports. Now there's two, after looking over this, there might be two reports that I wanna look at. There's a marketing analysis referring provider um, or there's a referring provider report. So we're not sure which report was gonna work better for us. So let's just run both of them and we'll see which one you like better. I'm gonna start with the marketing analysis referring provider. So when I, when I click okay, it's just gonna take me to that report and highlight it for me. Uh, so I'm gonna double click to run the report. Now, uh, for, for the purposes of this video, okay, I, I'm running what's called the tutorial data or the a fake data set in my Metasoft. It doesn't have probably nearly the amount of data that your Metasoft does. That's okay. If you want to select a certain referring provider or a certain dates, please do so. But for this video, I don't have very much data. So I'm going to leave it open to everything. There might be some really old dates in my, my data, but that's okay. You'll get the idea. So I'm going to hit okay. And from this report, you can see that it's going to show me month by month, which uh, how many patients were referred from each referring provider and how much charges and payments were uh, received from those uh, from those uh, referred patients. Okay, so that's quickly one way to see a referring provider report that looks like this. If I go back to my search box, I, I still have my keyword there. I'm gonna hit find now. And now let's say I wanna run the referring provider report. Again, I click okay. It's gonna highlight the referring provider report for me. Again, I'm gonna, for, for this video, I'm gonna leave everything blank. 
click on OK. And here is a different type of referring provider report. Still shows you all the patients that were referred by the provider, uh, but it's going to show you a little bit uh, different information here as far as specifically the uh, the percent uh, percentage of the gross uh, revenue from that referring provider. So, so there you go. Just just a couple of ways to look for um, certain types of reports. Type in a keyword. If I was looking for something like. Uh, uh, payments on a patient's account, right? I'm going to type in the word payment and then, and then look through all of these and see if I can find a report that best suits my needs for, for what I'm looking for. Uh, for instance, let's just say I want to see all the payments that were on it that were made by a patient only. Um, I don't want to see the insurance payments on an account. I don't want to see the insurance adjustments. I just want to see patient payments only that a patient has made on their account. Well, there's a report here. Let's see if we can find it called patient day sheet payments only. Let me click on that, double click on it. And uh, you know, again, I'm gonna leave this open, hit okay. And this will just show patient payments only for a certain account. And you, of course you can run it um, uh, by patient if you'd like. And so you just have one patient, but so anyway, just, just some tips and tricks on how to uh, search for a particular report that you're looking for. There are a lot of different reports, so make sure you use those keywords. Um, the second thing I want to show you is that once you find a report that you like, so let's go back to that to use our example, the referring provider. Let's say that I really like this marketing analysis referring provider report. That's the one I'm going to run. I'm going to run it regularly. What I'd recommend you do is just right click on the report and say add to favorites. Okay. And I'm going to get a message that report was added to my list of favorites. Great. So what does that do? At the top of my reports uh, explorer here, I can click on favorites and that will take me to a list of all my favorite reports. And here's the marketing analysis that we just, we just now uh, added there. And uh, you can build a list to include as many different reports as you like. Let me show you one more thing. You can also go over here on the, on the left-hand side and you can add or, uh, as many different custom reports as you like. So if I click all folders and hit um, new folder, uh, I can make a new folder called favorites. Oops, favorites. Okay, so now I have a new custom uh, folder here called favorites. And if I would like to, uh, I can go ahead and just move these reports, just click and drag them over to my favorites. Uh, folder here and then you can build the you can build your list of favorites from a favorites folder as well so you can do that so uh, hopefully that helps you navigate this report explorer just a little bit better and find reports you're looking for or, or keep them organized in a way that you can uh, be quicker and more efficient in your meta software hey thanks for watching our video if you want more videos like this be sure to subscribe and also do us a favor and click that like button thanks again and see you on the next one